Hello, I'm Shannon. I'm a second year Bachelor of Architectures and Environment student. I'm here with Desen and Kevin from Bachelor of Architectures and Environment, Daniels and Nicholas from Bachelor of Project Management. We are a group of students from the University of Sydney and today we will be presenting you the issues of urban heat islands at Campbell Towns. Furthermore, we will provide you the solutions to solve this problem of additional rise in air temperatures that Lancome could take into consideration to develop their futures project. What is urban heat island effect or the UHI? Urban areas or the cities where these structures are highly concentrated and greenery is limited. What are the problems of the UHI? The main reason of the rising temperature would be the pollution, deforestation, decline of green space in urban areas, heat waste contributed by the tailpipes, air conditioning, and many more. And the materials has been used for construction at, such as steel, concrete, asphalt that can be used for building an inf infrastructure, housing, and more. According to the Bureau of Meteorology, the rising temperature has been recorded in Campbell Town in January 2020. The temperature peaked at 45.5 degrees Celsius. The aims and objectives would give an idea how to solve and design a new cities in order to reduce or avoid the effects of the urban heat island effect. The aims would be to lessen the health risk of the residents and visitors by reducing the pollution, reduce the temperature in the site by adding more green space, protect and reserve areas in order to protect the wildlife in the area, especially for the endangered species. The objectives would B, increase the green infrastructure, increase the green spaces, expanding green space or open areas, provide water features in the site. According to the heat map of the New South Wales government, Department of Planning, Industry and Environment, the most concentrated area for urban heat island during 2015-2016 would be the Eastern Suburbs, Central Business District and the Western Sydney, which, which include the Campbell Town. Carver Gardens North is a project by Lancome that will provide a variety of desirable homes, eco-friendly living space, amenities and community sites. It is situated within the Campbelltown local government area and is 45 kilometres from the Sydney CBD. This project will pride itself on being environmentally friendly by being certified as a green site community by the Green Building Council of Australia, by maintaining the Bow Bowling Creek, Riverflat Eucalyptus Forest, Cumberland Plain Woodland and other biodiversity present in the region. In order to improve the sustainable aspect of MacArthur Gardens, we have proposed utilising greater urban cooling techniques in order to reduce the high urban heat island of Western Sydney and provide necessary materials slash designs to provide a comfortable living space for its residents. Cities in Australia are experiencing an unprecedented amount of urban heating that severely impacts the socio-economic health of the nation. In order to combat the intense heat of the Australian climate, specifically targeting large city complexes similar to MacArthur Gardens North, the use of urban cooling will be implemented as a preventative measure again. Overall, the site will have over 13 hectares of greenery, roughly 60% of designated land, containing amenities such as cycle paths, barbecues and sports fields. In these areas specifically, permeable shade cloths and materials that will be used to mitigate the intense heat and provide a cool climate for pedestrians to enjoy. This is especially critical as MacArthur has a mean temperature of 23.6 degrees and an absolute maximum temperature of 42.4 degrees Celsius. MacArthur Gardens North is a development that will incorporate sustainable practices alongside providing residents with high class amenities and living space. It is therefore critical that urban cooling is incorporated correctly onto the site due to the high temperature levels that Western Sydney experiences. Overall, these implementations are necessary for MacArthur Gardens North as it will mitigate high temperatures and drastically reduce the urban heat island, therefore providing greater air and water quality, reducing pollutants and providing a cool area for residents to live in. The development control plan restricts the types and design choices of new developments in the Campbelltown area. It has a strong focus on the natural environment and its involvement for design approvals. All development applications uh, must include landscaping designs as well as water cycle management plans in order to be considered for approval. The landscaping must enhance the visual character of the development, 
retain and enhance existing flora and fauna characteristics. It also must add value to the quality and character of the streetscape. Whereas the water cycle management plan has design requirements to accommodate a 100 year ARI event. By utilizing the natural stream, not only does it attain the natural environment, a large portion of this management plan is also taken care of. Due to the importance of landscaping and water management within the DEP, we look for a solution that would encapsulate urban cooling and would enhance the visual character uh, of the development while retaining and enhancing the existing characteristics. The LEP, MGN's land is zoned as a regional comprehensive center. As part of the Campbelltown LEP, uh, which has a key objective of preserving the area's greenfield heritage while still providing housing facilities for the area. As part of preserving the greenfield heritage, it is important that our design played close attention to the existing landscape and water cycle. This motivated our design solution to incorporate the existing natural stream and landscape into the development um, by having it as a centerpiece to the project. By paying close atten attention to this planning condition, not only does it design adhere to regulations, it also works as a mechanism for urban cooling to occur in an area that is subject to high temperatures over the summer months. After consideration on researches regarding the site where vegetations and urban water bodies are found to be effective ways to tackle urban heat island effect, we've come up with this design. Even though vegetation and foliage promote evapotranspiration, the site is already filled with vegetation, as you can see in this map. So instead, we decided to resolve the problem through the use of urban water bodies. From this map, we can see we expanded the creek, which is indicated with the pink lines, to reach more places in the site. Instead of just passing through the central park, now the creek goes through the platform of all three high-density residential buildings, while the creek in the central park area also be expanded. And a study showed that what urban water bodies like this can cool down its surroundings by 1.3 to 5.5 degrees, which is very effective on easing the heat island effect. So from this diagram, we can see that having the creek run through the sites can also bring down, can bring down the temperature by an average of 3.4 degrees, and which is yeah, shown in this diagram. Moreover, through expanding the creek in the central park, we can reduce the use of materials on roads for pedestrians that reflect the sunlight, such as concrete, steel, bitumen, which can raise the temperature surrounding it. And of course, supplementary policies such as reducing the car usage while promoting public transport can also implement it to reduce the temperature even further. Overall, the development of high density residential developing and expansions of urban infrastructures is a result of an additional rise of air temperatures. With this high density of residential and urban infrastructures developed, the increasing of vegetation and green infrastructures may not be sufficient to mitigate urban heat islands effects. Therefore, we have developed a solution by expanding creek and canals that pass through the density area of the residential dwellings in order to reduce urban heat islands by process of evaporation.